What's up, fellas? So I got a patron supporter that said, man, he want to know how to overcome trust issues, all right? Because he's having a hard time trusting people. And you know what I say to that? You shouldn't want to overcome trusting issues. You should stay just the way you is. You should want to watch people. You shouldn't trust people, all right? You guys want to know one of the, the most asked questions I get, email I get? Hey, man, my, my best friend, girl, be sending me choosing signals. What should I do? And you know what I'm thinking? Why is this even a question? You see what I'm saying? Why is this even a question? What you should do is you should be telling your friend, hey, man, your bitch is hitting on me. But no, 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 no. They want to know how to play it. I want to fuck her, but I don't want to get caught. I want to fuck my best friend girl because she's sending me choosing signals. So I want you, AMS, to tell me what should I do or say to play this right because I don't want to get caught because I want to keep my friend, but I want to fuck this girl too. I get that question a lot. I say at least once or twice a week, somebody will send me an email wanting to know how to fuck their best friend or a friend girl. And they want me to tell them how to play it because she's sending choosing signals. All right, guys. So the biggest issue you, I, you know, one of the things I want you guys that I'm glad you guys are on is that you guys are learning human nature. You know, the rare appeal talks about female nature. Well, I'm putting y'all guys up on human nature. Most people will stab you in the back the first chance they get, guys. Prisons are full of uh, guys who best friends put them there. All right? That's how most cases are built. Y'all guys know that? People get caught. The police offer this one deal. Okay, the hell with them. I'm going to worry about myself. Y'all guys don't watch the first 48? Who do all the talking? It's friends telling on friends. Whoever can get the best deal. All right? The police don't most times don't even got to do a whole lot of work, guys. All right, all they got to do is just offer one friend a deal and he tell on every fucking body, guys. So you shouldn't trust people. My issue is to get people to stop being naive and trusting people. That's what beta males are. They're naive. They're ignorant to female nature. They're ignorant to trusting people. All right, as over here, what I think the red pill should really be about is human nature as a whole, not just female nature. You guys, as with the red pill, you need to learn human nature also. It's not about just, oh, now I know how these bitches are. They'll leave me if I lose. No, 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 no. You need to know how your friends are. If you got a bad chick right now, it's a good chance that your friends would love the opportunity to fuck her if they was given the opportunity. You need to know that. If you got a certified dime at home right now, you need to know without a shadow of a doubt that if your ass was to go to jail or something like that, every one of your friends would be trying to stick their dick in your girl. I'm telling you that shit right now. So you need to keep those trust issues. I'm glad you have them. I have them, but I'm glad I have them. And what that comes from? That comes from going through shit. Obviously, you didn't have people cross you out. What the fuck you want to go back and be naive for? So you want me to basically brainwash you to not see the world for where it is. So you want me to turn you back into a beta male. As in, teach you how to go back to trusting people when life experience has already told you not to. That's just like me trying to teach you to trust women again and, and you know, undo all the shit you done learned about female nature. It can't be undone. You now have experienced human, human nature. All right, guys? So that's the thing with that. Once you've experienced some guys, most of you guys are over here because you done went through a situation with women. And so now you're over here learning female nature. And I can't undo that. All right, if your girl left you when you lost your job and now you experience with human nature, I can't undo that, guys. Now you know. All right, so get over that female nature shit. Women ain't the only ones out here cutthroat and looking for themselves. Humans as a whole, guys, are like that. All right, that's the way that works, guys. All right, now, there's some ways you can keep people from violating your trust. 
for one, guys, friends tend to shit test you too. All right? This is why I tell you guys, masculine frame, always holding a masculine frame. You want to keep people from trying you. Friends try you and they shit test too. All right? You pass those shit tests. What I told you guys, always stand your ground on anything. When a friend is trying you, you stand your fucking ground. When they trying to take your kindness for weakness, any of you guys wondering what I'm talking about, go check out my how to pass men shit test. All right, men shit test too. Friends shit test too. Women, it's subconscious, right? But when you see a little weakness, it goes a little farther, it goes a little farther, it goes a little farther. Listen, I don't have friends, and trust me, I knew better than even look at that girl twice because they want no fucking joke. All right, you know, as the old saying go in the hood, you know who to play with. And the old saying, you know who to play with. Yeah, you know who to play with. You know who to fuck. You know, I'll fuck Tommy girl, but I know not to fuck with Jesse girl. Jesse crazy. You know who to play with. All right, guys. So one thing, if you, if, if you want to overcome, one thing you need to have, zero tolerance for bullshit. Zero tolerance, guys. Listen, guys, abundant mindset goes to more than just killing females. This shit I'm over here teaching you guys, it go deeper than females. Yep, man, fuck that bullshit. I'm teaching you guys abundance mindset in life, all right? As with friends, as in jobs, as with anything, guys. I'm Listen, sometimes I make videos that I know are not going to be popular. I don't give a damn. Unpledge, unsub, do whatever the fuck you want to. I'm going to make the videos that I want to make. I have an abundance mindset. That's what I do. All right? With any aspect of my life, with my women, I have an abundance mindset. I'm going to do what I want to do. As with my income, I'm going to do what I want to do. One thing, I'll make it another way. All right? As with friends, I replace their ass just like that. All right? I have an abundance mindset. And above anything else, guys, at the end of the day, I don't need no friends and I don't need no girl because at the end of the day, I got my fucking purpose. So at the end of the day, I'm always going to have an abundance mindset because I'm never going to be in a scarcity mindset because I know that I always got my passion to fall back on. All right, guys? So abundance mindset. When people see you easy to cut people out your life, they'll think twice about crossing you. When they know you have no issues, same go with women, the same thing go with friends, guys. When people see you have no problem, you'll cut people out your life just like that, they'll think twice about fucking you over. All right, guys? So that's how that works, guys. Have zero tolerance for bullshit. All right? That's how you keep people from violating your trust to begin with. You keep a small inner circle, and even that inner circle, they only can get know so much. I never tell nobody everything it is about me. N no, nobody. I don't give a fuck how tight I am with you. Nobody know every aspect of my life. Stop trusting people so fucking much. So no, I will not teach you how to overcome trusting people. I want you to keep that shit. You'll live a lot longer. Trust me. All right. And I had another guy want to know, you know, what to do about his corny friends. Guys, as high value men, every aspect of our life. It's probably going to change. All right. Most of you guys now are trying to become high value men. You're working on your purpose and shit like this. I can tell you right now, the quality of women in your life going to change. You ain't going to tolerate this. Well, back in the day, you'll tolerate that. That shit going to change. Your income, your job going to change. No more will you do bullshit for chump change. You're going to do what you love to do and make money doing that. And another aspect of your life that's going to change is the type of friends you associate yourself with. Guys, you cannot be my friends if you're somebody that I see is not trying to you know, do more in life. I would not associate with you, period. I'm not talking about you got to be a millionaire or no bullshit like that. But I would not hang around losers. All right? I am not going to hang around no corny guys. All right? As with an abundance mindset, guys, that means that you, are, you Listen, if you're going to be a high value male That means that your whole life as a whole Might have to do an overhaul Your whole life Your women, your job And your friends You might have to just do away with all that bullshit And do everything over Guys, listen Just because somebody's your friend in the 5th grade Don't mean that they're entitled to be in your life right now Alright I ain't hanging around no fucking cornballs Period And it's not that you know something wrong with them or not nothing like that right there 
I want to hang around people with my mindset now. I hang around mature guys that are ambitious. That's it. I'm not hanging around no immature-ass, corny-ass dudes. That's just not what I'm doing. All right? So if you're going to be an alpha male and you're going to be, you know, trying to do your masculine frame and be more mature and leave that beta male shit alone, you might have to change friends. You might have to. Guys, y'all guys got to stop being having this scarcity mindset. That's what I want you guys to start doing, man. All right. A lot of you guys just think being a high value male just means that, oh, get this type of quality of woman. High value male means every aspect of your life, guys. Everything in your life has to change. Your whole mindset has to change. Everything has to raise its standards. All right. So that's the thing with that. With those corny friends, guys, I am backing away from them. And I'm making new friends. All right. You don't see Jay-Z going back to Marshall Projects hanging out with people he grew. No. He hanging out with people that's on his level. If people in the back in the day, oh, he changed, he changed. He ain't the same. He don't give a fuck. Say what the fuck you want to say. All right, say what the fuck you want to say. I'm moving on. I'm doing bigger and better things. All right, you can call it a sellout. You can call it whatever. He want to hang around Bill Gates and, and, and he this motherfucker uh, hang out with uh, billion dollar tycoons and shit like that. He hanging around people that's on his level. The poor people with that poor mindset, they gonna say what the fuck they wanna say. He can he can be hanging around them, they still gonna talk shit. So they might as well talk shit from afar. All right, guys, that's the thing with that. If, if the, 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 what I would try to tell you, the best you can do is you can do like LeBron James, and LeBron James brought all his closer friends, and he helped them, you know, get to his level. But let's say, let's say that. With him trying to help them get to his level, they didn't want to get there. Let's just hypothetically say they wanted to stay with that poor mindset. I guarantee you he would have left their ass behind. I guarantee you. Jay-Z tried to help a lot of people back in his hood, uh, some of his closest friends, and, you know, they just wanted to do drug deals. This man can't hang around that bullshit no more. What he did, he left them behind. All right? If LeBron James' friends wanted to be ignorant and still do dumb shit, I guarantee you he would have left their ass behind. All right, that's the way it go. Y'all guys see six nine, the rapper six nine. Y'all guys see how much shit he was getting involved. That's what happened when you try to keep it real. See, they bring you down with them. Now his ass locked up. You see that shit? This is what happened when you try to keep it real. See, you have to keep it. You keep it real, and now your ass locked up for real. That's what happened. He should have been disassociated his ass with them thugs, but he wanted to keep it real. He kept it real, all right? And now he gonna keep it real, red in the feds. This is what happens when you keep that inner circle. He should have been dropped their ass. But he wanted to keep it real, guys. So let 6 9 be a perfect example of what happens when you keep the same type of friends. This is what happened. You don't grow. You don't prosper. They hold you down, all right? You hanging around corny goofball ass guys and shit like that, well, you gonna stay a corny goofball. All right, do not be afraid to disassociate from bad friends. If they ain't prospering or they ain't trying to change or shit like that, leave their ass behind. Let people say what the fuck they want to say. People going to talk about your ass regardless. All right, and that's what happened with a lot of these rappers. They stay with these damn knuckleheads instead of disassociating themselves with them, and then they end up getting themselves fucked up. But, hey, at the end, they kept it real, though. You see how dumb that is? All right, guys, but getting back to the first point, guys, Listen, I don't want you guys to overcome no trust issues. Keep them fucking trust issues. As with the red pill, don't y'all guys got trust issues with women? You think I want you to get rid of those? I want you to keep those. All right, that's the th same thing I want you to keep it with everybody. You should have trust issues because people are not able to be trusted, guys. All right, guys. Like the video. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Holla back.